students welcome to the class last day we had learned lesson 8 today we are taking the grammar from your grammar book in your grammar book only two lessons are over today we will take the third lesson that is prepositions 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 are words that show the relation between a noun or a pronoun and the rest of the sentence prepositions are words that shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and the rest of the sentence the sun rises in the east the airplane flies above the clouds the sun rises in the east in is the preposition here the airplane flies above the clouds above is the preposition here prepositions are very important words if a preposition is wrong the meaning of the sentence changes here we can see some examples nimmi shouted to me what's the meaning of that sentence nimmi shouted to me means the she spoke loudly to me shouted to me means she spoke loudly to me nimmi shouted at me means she spoke angrily to me students see the differences of the prepositions first in first sentence to is the preposition second sentence at is the prepositions instead of to if you write at yeah instead of at if you write to the meaning will be changed next sentence is navin threw the ball to me what's the meaning we were playing with the ball we navin and vaisal were playing with the ball next navin threw the ball at me what's the meaning of that sentence he tried to hit me with the ball he tried to hit me with the ball that's the meaning see the changes several verbs and adjectives take their own prepositions with them several several verbs and adjectives take their own prepositions with them whenever we study a new verb or adjective it is better to learn the preposition that goes with it several words several verbs or adjectives take their own prepositions you remember that we usually use between when there are two persons or things we use among when there are more than two persons or things here between and among the use of between and among between we use between two and among we use with several persons remember that the teacher stood between the two quarreling groups example the teacher stood between here between is the preposition c between the two quarreling groups the money was divided actually among the four of them that's the difference of between and among the school is between the post office and the police station the book was lying among the clothes see the differences note the use of for and since in these sentences we have been living here for 10 years we have been living here for 
10 years, duration of time. We have been living here since 1995. Here a particular time is mentioned, 1995. We have been living here since 1995. You so far and since. For we, we, for we use to show a duration of time. Since we used to show from a particular point of time in the past to the present. Since is not used with a period of time. Since is not used with a period of time that you should remember. Here in the next page. Here are some adjectives and the prepositions that go with them. We said no. Several verbs and the adjectives take their own prepositions. Here are some examples. According to. Afraid of. Angry with. Anxious to. Ashamed of. Aware of. Capable of. Due to. Fond of. Fit for. Inclined to. Interested in. Involved in. Ready for. Scared of. Sorry for. Sorry about something. Sorry for. For a person. Successful in. Suspicious of. Terrified of. Students, you should learn this words with these prepositions because these prepositions are going with these words. Some verbs also take particular prepositions after them. Here are some examples. Accuse someone of a wrong deed. Agree with a person to an idea. Appeal to a person for help. Apply for a job. Argue with a person. Believe in a person or thing. Charge someone with a wrong deed. Complain to a person against a person yeah, about something. Consist of several things. Escape from something. Inquire about a person. Object to something. Part from a person with something. Prefer something to another. Present. Someone with a something, something to someone. Put up with a person at a place. Remind someone of something. Supply a person with a something, something to a person. Suspect something of, someone of something. Wish for something. Okay. Some verbs do not take a preposition after them. He entered the room in a hurry. The book comprises eight lessons. Here you see. Here the verbs will not take any prepositions. Now see students the exercises. Complete the following sentences using the correct prepositions. Refer to your dictionary if necessary. If you didn't understand the meaning, you can refer the dictionary. Okay. When you do these exercises, you should remember the points which you have learned. The teachers were pleased dash the result with the result. The police charged him dash theft with the theft. Someone stole a lot dash money of money, lot of money dash the bank, from the bank. The little girl is afraid, dash darkness, of darkness. The little girl afraid of darkness. My house is dash street number one, dash the bank and the post office. My house is on street number one, between the bank and the post office. Between is used between two. I cannot agree dash you with you. 
my uncle has been living abroad that 15 years duration of time for for 15 years she kept the keys that's the pillow under the pillow the college is away that's the city from the city my father prefers coffee that's tea to tea the temperature varies dash 11 dash 15 degrees the temperature varies from 11 to 15 degrees my mother is fond dash her kitten fond of fond of kitten he was angry dash me with me so i went and apologized dash him with him my answer is different dash yours from yours I felt sorry that's the poor man for the poor man my own is married dash a pilot to a pilot the train arrived dash time on time you are capable dash doing this of doing this i was ashamed dash what i had done of what i have done i waited dash my friend dash a long time I waited for my friend for a long time. Rahul was not fit. Dash the game at the game. We knocked. Dash the door at the door. I applied. Dash a job. I applied for a job. I was called. Dash an interview for an interview. The plane took off. Dash the airport. Dash seven forty a.m. The plane took off. from the airport at 7:40 am my brother refused to part dash his bicycle part with by with his bicycle so students you write the answers in exercise with a pencil and learn it thank you